Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Whether you like Ford, Mopar, Chevy, Pontiac, it doesn't matter. A 70 Cuda 446-pack convertible is a pretty awesome piece regardless. This car goes to a car show, uh, and it's uh, certainly the center of attention. This is purportedly to be one of only 12 built. Keep in mind, they built millions of cars that year, and uh, if this really is one of only 12 built, uh, that's pretty spectacular when you think about it. Let's walk around, let's look at some of the features of it, let's look at the quality of the restoration, which is very important on these cars, and let's look at uh, and what you're getting. On top of it, you know, this car is really great driving, and more importantly, this car is fast, man. This thing rolls down the road, and will put a smile on your face when all six barrels open up and smoke the tires, so I've heard, okay? Come on up, let's take a peek at the lemon twist uh, paint, and you can kind of get it. Sometimes yellow doesn't show up. Sorry, there's a little bit of dust right there. Sometimes yellow doesn't show up so well when you're talking about uh, seeing things. I don't know if the watch shows up better, but you can read every line on here. Everything's crystal clear like you want it to be, okay? Hood pins look great. Got the chrome here. It's got the great grill that's on. It's got the driving lights like a Cuda should have, all right? This has two sets of tires with it. So it has the 15 inch rally wheels with a set of BF Goodrich radial TAs with disc brakes in here, okay? as well as the correct polyglass bias ply tires in case you wanted to show the car, uh, you can put those on and uh, have it really look super, super authentic, all right? One nice thing too is look at the effort that's gone in to make this body straight and line up well. Keep in mind, these are cars that are 40 years old and they're convertibles. Typically, they do not line up well when they are new and uh, definitely not 40 years later. Somebody's put an awful lot of time in making sure like the gaps are good, uh, everything fits well, the painted sport mirrors, but look at this right here. This is nice because it's, it fits just great in there. All right, so as we walk around the car, it's got a matching boot on it, the power black convertible top. It's got the rear go wing on it. Come on back here, and this is uh, uh, one of the best muscle car back ends of any car. It's a shame that uh, you know, the muscle car era was on its way out during this time because check this thing out. This cool, this part here, call out saying Kudo right there, big fat exhaust pipes, and from behind, this thing just looks wicked. It's all painted and detailed underneath. The exhaust is brand new, it's nice and silver. And everything seems to fit really well on this car. It's got the 440 call outs there, which is just enough to let people know what's there. Unless, of course, they wanna see what it says right here. And that's right, the call out, what we call the 446 pack shaker hood. If you've never seen a shaker hood operate, it's really cool to see. This motor here is built pretty well. It's probably more than the 390 horsepower that it came with from the factory. So when it's idling, uh, the shaker hood shakes while the rest of the car sits still. It looks really cool. All right, let's take a peek under the hood and see what we have there. Okay. All right, so check this out here. Date coded 440 engine, six pack setup. So it's got the three two barrel carburetors underneath here. Correct radiator. It's got the right call outs around. Uh, this is kind of nice too. It's got the fender tag on it. Uh, just nicely detailed and decals. Don't forget too, you have power steering and you have power disc brakes, which is kind of a big deal on these cars here, especially high horsepower cars like this, because as this car is picking up speed, you want to be able to slow down just as fast. And a lot of people just leave the old drum brakes and things like that on cars. And sometimes after your second or third stop, there's nothing there. The disc brakes make it good each and every time. It's got the battery topper on it as well. It's got the high, uh, the HP exhaust manifolds that are come up here and they're detailed as well. This has an upgraded electronic ignition on it. It's a Chrysler ignition. It will come out probably the next year, but uh, it looks really good in there. Wiper motor, everything's kind of detailed and nice. Uh, the nice thing about this car is uh, um, it's as nice a car as you could probably ever want, but it's not over-restored, so meaning you could drive this. It's, uh, it's a, a car you could take to a car show, go out for dinner. And, you know, some of these cars that are just ridiculously restored, they go in a trailer, you back it out of the trailer, you put it back in the trailer. And for me, that doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun for, to invite my friends over and uh, they can come in my garage and we can stand around the cooter for a minute, uh, but we can't breathe on it. I want to go for a ride with my buddies. I want to have some fun. If I want to spin the tires a little bit, I can do that. I don't beat on my cars, but once in a while, if I want to chirp second gear or what have you, I want to be able to do that. And this kind of car here, that's what you can do. All right, let's take a peek in the trunk for a second and see some of the detail here. Now, for me, this is always a good sign that a car comes with a car cover. That means the guy's garaged the car and he's covered it and he's taking really great care of it. This is nice here because it's painted inside just like it's supposed to be, not like a Ford or a Chevy that's either uh, just a splatter painted or flat. Uh, everything's in here, nice soft gaskets, detailed trunk, stickers, spoilers uh, supports are in there. 
and they're locked down nicely. You can get some high speed out of this car. You don't want that thing to fly off. You don't want the go wing to go wing and off by itself. All right, let's check out the cockpit of the Cuda. I love, I love saying that. You know what? It's such, it's such a mouthful when you say 446 pack Cuda convertible. It's a lot. But that's what you're getting, and that's probably why uh, these things are so rare. So this has the rally dash. You have 150 mile an hour speedometer. You have 7,000 RPM tack. Full gauges over here. Oil, alternator, uh, water temperature, and of course fuel. It's got a clock, the power top. This is here, original AM radio. This right here is carb air, and what this would do is you would pull that out because if it's raining, you don't really want to open up uh, the scoop there and let water in because you're not going to be flooring the car, so you don't need maximum power. Um, so when you want fresh carb air, pull that right on out there. And uh, now the gills are open inside the shaker hood and it's getting all that fresh cold air from outside, not the hot engine air from underneath. This right here, the only thing that I don't think on the car uh, is uh, period correct is this shifter. So this is the pistol grip shifter that people love in a four speed, but because this car is automatic, they went ahead and made one for this, but it works even better. All right, so let me show you how the slapstick works. This is really cool. So you're rolling down the road, you're watching the tack and you just smack it. You smack it in a second gear, it will not go any farther. Let it fall back in a notch, get ready to shift into third, and you smack it again, and it goes up into third, and you can't miss a shift. This is a factory shifter, too, which is pretty cool, the fact that you could get something like that. Just pull it right on back down. First, wop, wop, wop. My hair moving? Is my hair falling out? Yeah, it's falling out. All right, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, cool shifter, cool car, check that out. So anyway, the interior, you got buckets, you got console, Dash is all detailed, it's painted down here. It's got the map light right here, check that out, okay? Carb air, we talked about that. Uh, blower, turn signals, like all that little stuff that doesn't normally work when you get a car. We've made sure all that stuff, from the turn signals, the hazards, the tack, and all those lights in there work, and uh, work very nicely, okay? Got this right here, owner's manual. You got a little storage inside there too. It's just a cool car, man. Check out this car. I mean, go back and watch the video over and over. It is one badass looking car. It's just fat, it's wide, it's just very, very muscle. In closing the video up on this car, nobody can guarantee the authenticity of any of these cars, whether it's one of one or one of 12 or one of 15, uh, without documentation. You know, this car here with full documentation would be in the $250,000 range. Uh, the fender tag matches all the options on the car. The radiator support has the VIN number to the car on it. It shows the V code right here uh, and the VIN number on the dash. So uh, we believe that it's exactly the way it's described, and to get a car like this to be one of 12, I don't know how many are left, this could be the only one left for all we know. Um, so if you ever wanted a really cool car for your collection uh, that continues to go up in value, these Cuda 446 pack convertibles are off the hook. Call us, 301-816-1000, we'll tell you all about it.